What's up, you strange people? It is Strange Plays, and welcome to part two of this tier maker. Uh, as y'all as y'all know, I made a tier for all the breathing styles. PvP wise, you guys um you guys were kind of confused in the last one because I was explaining my tier list, and you guys said I was like bringing up PVE stuff. These tier lists are just for PvP only. I can make a PVE one, but these these tier lists are for PvP. Sorry, I had to burp. Listen, now we're doing the, the BDAs. I said I'm experienced on both fields. And if, even if I wasn't, I have a person, I have a friend that is very experienced in these fields. So, um, let's go. All right. Now for the garbage, there is not a single BDA that is garbage. All right. None, none of them are completely useless. They all have their own perks. Uh, in terms of PvP, yes, there's, there, there isn't really that much, any of them that are garbage. Now for the next category, meh. Tamari Balls might be the only one to take that spot. Yes. Because I had made a vid on it. It was actually one of the most fun. I say like third fun most, like the third most fun BDA I've ever used. And it was really, really fun. It was really, really fun to use because of its punishment potential. Like if you were to dodge out, you could easily just throw a ball, boom, start off, start off a combo. It had... Mm, the combo extenders were iffy you know like it, it was escapable like you could just spam q what like and do possibly dodge out without an evade by the way um it were, it's meh basically now for the next category you can make it work hmm you can make it work uh i would put arrow there's not that many people who are good with arrow it's it's a good bda it's just there's better there's always better, you know what I'm saying? There's better in the game. Um, it has one, two combo extenders. Yeah, it has two combo extenders. Well, three because of the ultimate, but what well, ultimate is not a combo extender. There's three combo extenders and a combo ender and a flight move. This, this person, me personally, this is my favorite BDA because it has, what do you, what, what do you call it? so much kit it has so much you know reliability you could fly away you could save your boys the ultimate is basically like you know op so anything good about the you know what i'm saying the whole kit and then the combo center so it's, it's you can make it work it's just there's better now going on to the pretty good category there's gonna be a couple to go here we're put reaper akaza and swamp now let me explain reaper it's kind of like thunder breathing it's so overrated because of people not having any knowledge or you know just pure pvp iq you know what i'm saying it's really not that busted i would put it up here in terms of um fighting an open world like just open world instead of the arena because it's so good for running away you know being annoying it's really really i'll put it i'll literally put it as the best one but in terms of arena which is what i'm talking about ranked it's really not crazy it's good it's really good but i wouldn't consider it busted not at all it's good though it's easy to you know easy to use i put a cause at pretty good and now you can make it work because of the mo of the fact that if you have and know how to use its kit correctly you could really be a deadly akaza shockwave user it's really it's really really good the iframes if you know how to use that busted the v move which is the one that you run at people and kick them that's your combo starter it does good damage and uh slam the slam on the ground hawk smash move really good and attracts really good you it, it just really depends on you know if you're good or not um now for the third one a swamp now swamp used to be the most broken bda in the game be when on release of update one because of the fact that the clones did like 366 damage without even max mastery and there was a move that swamp had where you could hold people on the floor there was two moves you could just grab them and then you could just send the clones and the clones are guaranteed hit so it was pretty busted um but now they nerfed it so now it's you know it's mid it's all right it's pretty good it's still a good bda it has a lot of grab moves and it will mess up your whole gameplay it's still good it's just not busted as you know how it used to be when it first came out they they nerfed all that now for the crazy good the last three y'all boys already know now duoma 
now i i ice it's the ultimate gives you iframes and you could just attack with it and then when you get out of the ultimate you get iframes i don't know if you guys know if you get out the ultimate the iframes are still there for a solid two to one second which is a lot of time in the in the heat of battle then um the counter you could sit there and hold your counter for about eight hours and nobody could touch you because then they'll just get countered and you could co and you could combo them with it the, the first move i say would be the only garbage move the z move like I, I don't see it working in pvp at all I, it just doesn't work it's really like only if you start off a combo if you start off a combo to use it as a combo center and that's about it the c move is really good the grab move obviously is really good every move is basically a combo center which is which is why i put it at crazy good it's really good for pvp it's you just you know what i'm saying it's busted it's crazy good now this bda right here <laughs> Yeah. All right, now let's get started on the blood BDA, man. This BDA. Now this BDA needs to get the fuck up out of here, bro. Why, in God's name, do you queue up with BD with a BDA, right? This BDA has about three combo starters, and those combo starters could be used as combo extenders. Then when you when you when you done dealing with all of that, and you somehow get past all that. You finally start off a combo, and then with the blood BDA, you could just use your moves while you're getting comboed. I say there's like three moves you could use while you're getting comboed. So there, if you lose with this BDA in PvP, you are actually so garbage, it's not even funny. You, you start off with so much, then when you finally get comboed, you don't get comboed because you just you could just use your moves while you get while you're stunned for some reason. It's so stupid. This has to get nerfed. I don't, I don't know if they nerfed it yet. And if they did, thank you. But it's so busted. It, it has completely ruined PvP at like every single time. PvP has been completely trashed on because of this. I don't even play PvP anymore because of this BDA. Because everybody just uses the BDA because they know how, how busted it is. And they don't want to be unique. They just want to keep using the same BDA. But let me stop ranting about the BDA. Moving on. Y'all already get the point. Now, Dream BDA. This BDA is so good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with it. It has the, the little grab move that you could put. That's a good combo starter. The Z move has, like, the first move that you get. It's The stun on it is insane. And there's good AoE. Um, There's one move. That I think it's the, the second to last move. Yeah, it's really... it's Or the, the spiritual core move. That move. That move is trash. I don't know why. They should remove that rework it do something but that move is actually garbage then it has um a move um that you put down and then you could detonate it yeah that move is pretty good yeah this this pda is really good it's really good it's definitely above the others it's really good that's about it for this tier list now if you guys have a problem with this tier list y'all let me know in the comments let me know what i think about this but this is my bda tier list for pvp this is pvp only no no, no don't come to the comments with some pve stuff bro i already told y'all pvp i love y'all I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night, y'all. Peace.